What I'm going to do, chaps, is just run through the sequence again of how you adjust this potentiometer. Al, if you stay there, you'll be able to see the whole bike, just so you can get an overview. So, first thing is you want the console to be started, so I'm going to just turn the pedal. That is picked up by the speed sensor and the console lights up, boots up, which is great. So now I can see my gear resistance positions, 1 to 24 on there. So before I get into recalibrating potentiometer, I'm just going to check that I've got the full range of movement of, which is available on the spindle here. So you can, you can hear it click against its mechanical stops when you turn it and that you can feel the resistance of the spring on your fingers. What I'm interested in is when I move the lever there, do I get that full range of mechanical movement on the spindle? So the way that I test that is I just turn it with my fingers there to the mechanical stop and hold it. Adjust my gear lever which pulls the cable in down here so now the cable should be tight so that when I let go with my fingers that spindle shouldn't move, which it doesn't. Now you can imagine that if the cable wasn't, wasn't um, tight, when I let go of the spindle it will come back ever so slightly just like that. So that, that tells me, or that would tell me, that I just need to tighten the cable up because in, I really want position 24, I want that to be tight. And at position 1, I want it to be right back on its stop. And again, you can use the mechanical stop as a, to tell you, I mean, I've just adjusted that with the brake lever to put a little bit of tension on. Now the cable's stopping the spindle going all the way back. And I can tell it is because I can't hear the mechanical knocking. When I move it back, you can, you can hear the mechanical stop. So it's dead easy to check and see, and therefore just determine whether your cable is actually adjusted right. And obviously you've got adjustments here to compensate for any uh, slack that you might want to take up, or indeed if you need to just release it a little, you can adjust it the other way. So that's your cable. So once you're happy with that, then it's just a matter really of adjusting that potentiometer so that you bring it synchronized in with the position of the spindle so it's just a case of turning it one way or the other in through this slot here you can only access that with the with the spindle in that position because obviously when you turn it uh, you, you can't can't get to your potentiometer there so you have to do it there and it's just a case of then adjusting that until you get the range of 1 to 24 on your scale um, uh, and that's it the system is really really easy and i think part of the difficulty with recalibrating these bikes is uh, without knowing how the system works and using these fancy tools and having to move this five times within five seconds, it all kind of makes it really complicated. And it's not. All you're trying to do is just synchronise that potentiometer with the, uh, the travel there on the spindle. And once you, once you know that, piece of cake. Okay, that's it. I hope that helps.